Well, we've got a treat for you today. We've got another drone. <laughs> this For this, those of you who like drones, it is a treat. But, yeah, this yeah. is the new DJI Mavic 2.0, and it comes in two flavors. This is vanilla, and it comes in chocolate. <laughs> no, this is... <laughs> No, no comments from Fred. No. He wanted strawberry. Neapolitan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Neapolitan. Okay. A little bit of everything. This is, no, this is a Zoom model, and it also comes in a Pro model. The difference between these, let's see if I can pop the little camera protector off here. This comes with a Zoom lens, thus the Zoom. Oh, the Zoom. The Zoom model, yes. So this has got the, about the same size sensor as the older Mavic and as the Mavic Air and... Uh, I don't know, the older uh, Phantom series, the Phantom 4, uh, about a half inch sensor, uh, 4K video, 30 frames per second, 12 megapixel stills. But what's unique about this one is it's got uh, 2x or 2 times multi, uh, the optical zoom. Optical, 2x optical zoom. And it will also, if you're shooting 4K, it will do about a 2 times. Um, Digital. Digital zoom as well, so yep. you get four. Now, if you're shooting 1080, that's not the case. You don't. Joe's get so excited he almost can't talk. I can't talk. Yeah. So, anyway, that's it. What's really unique about this over the previous models, and I should mention that the Pro model, which the drone is identical to this. The only difference is, is the camera. It comes with a Hasselblad branded one-inch sensor camera and it does not have a zoom so i'll get into that here in a in a moment but i'll let uh, fred correct me if i make any mistakes here <laughs> and uh he can he'll serve as uh, ask questions so you you, you, you can ask questions for the audience well, how's that what's what's really interesting about this is that you said hey this model has the zoom camera what if you wanted the Hasselblad later on what can you do well in theory, at least I have read and have not confirmed this, that uh, at least for a limited time, you can send it back to DJI, pay the difference, and have it switched. Now, I don't know what would happen if you want to switch from the Hasselblad to this one. Right. This model retails for twelve forty nine. The Hasselblad model retails for fourteen ninety nine. Right. So this is a $250 difference. So I don't know if they give you money back if you go from the Hasselblad to the Zoom. But I thought the Zoom made more sense for me. And this, of course, folds up for Transport. travel. Yeah. And uh, the props also the fold up. And these are the new props that appeared first on the... Uh, uh, gee whiz, I don't know what the, the Mavic version was called. It was the, the prior one, not uh, the original Mavic. The Mavic but, Air? No, no. Okay. No, there was a model, and also on the, the Mavic Enterprise, ah. which we've talked about on the podcast. Right. Um, Mavic, I think it was called the Mavic Pro. Okay. So the original Mavic, the Mavic Pro, right. and now the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 right. Zoom. Anyway, suppose, these are supposed to be quieter running and the little blades i don't know you probably can't see them but they got a little tip on them here and actually bend up slightly right slightly supposedly that is supposed to make them run quieter mm -hmm. and we've kind of experimented and tested unscientifically and fred and i kind of felt like well, at least i've kind of felt like i won't speak for you that it may be a difference in frequency rather than actual right volume but the the noise level is about the same on all of them yeah. that we've I recorded. I think so. From what we got what on a little decibel get. meter, yeah. it seemed to be the same. But to be these are much lower in frequency, and it gets high enough, it just, it does seem to kind of disappear as far as the right. the noise levels. Oh, and by the way, you know, warning alert on this. Some people have actually there was uh, you you may see some things on YouTube where people have actually changed out the camera themselves. Yes, not recommended, folks. Because nope. if you do that and you're not absolutely sure what you're doing, you basically will avoid any warranty. Oh yeah, that you have and absolutely, actually, heartbeat. this person that did it had both models. Right, and um, he did switch them out, and it did work, and it recognized the other camera, and immediately in the DJI Go 4 app, switched and said, "Oh, this is a." 
Mavic Pro. So mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with the firmware that's in the machine. It's able to detect which right. camera is. So exactly. that's kind of cool. Well, this has got, let's see, features on this. Well, how about the it's, obstacle avoidance? Yeah. What's, what, what's improved about it, it? It's 360, which means you've got obstacle avoidance. You've got cameras on the front, on the back, underneath, and even above. So the only thing to keep aware, I know they advertise and push this, but that is only under a couple modes, like a tripod mode, that it actually uses all, all right. those sensors. In fact, if you're in sport mode, you have no obstacle avoidance, and it will go 44 miles an hour, and it will run into a tree or a wall at 44 miles an hour. Because if, sport mode turns that yeah, off. Yeah, it's turned off. So That's all up to you at that point. Yeah, and also, by the way, to keep in mind that if you're going 44 miles an hour, it takes this little devil some time right. to slow down and stop. Well, so you'd better stop it long before it comes to that tree exactly. or wall Although or whatever. Although there's some things that we'll talk about when we do our show you the field oh, trial. Oh, yeah. But... You know, one of the other things about it is that people talk about, well, you know, it's just using wireless yeah. to, to sync to your controller. We'll get the controller It's basically too. using something called OccuSync, and it's the yeah. 2.0 version. This is a new version of OccuSync that's supposed to be Up to even five more miles rest. away is where it's supposed to send, so yeah. that's a pretty good distance. Now, are you flying that far? Well, what are the rules on that? <laughs> well, in the United States, you're not supposed to, and I don't know about other countries, but I think most of them, you're supposed to fly it where uh, you can see it. you got to keep it in line of sight. And um, so f I couldn't see this Well, the idea away. of the know. distance just means you've got a really a great strong signal. But, yeah, exactly. So really great. If you're flying in a city where there's a lot of uh, interference, radio interference, this gives you a much stronger signal. And um, if you're flying it uh, in a place where you don't, it means you can fly it further away without right. any interruption in the video. It's also kind of nice. It's like the little Mavic Air. It's got uh, removable joysticks. So you take those off, and they actually store inside here. Also, like the original Mavic, it has an LED in here that gives you some of the stats. It tells you the uh, the battery uh, how far away it is, how of course, high down below. it is. It even gives you the RPMs on right. uh, and uh, some of the other goodies. And of course, your phone or tablet, or if you got a small tablet, fits in here. Although some third parties make uh, some accessories, mm -hmm. they'll let you use a full size tablet if that's what you want. But this is very compact as well. And um, one of the things that's kind of unique also to this one is it allows you to charge your phone or tablet through it, which the previous ones didn't. Yeah, I think we're going to start seeing that more. Yeah, because, I should hope so. you know, that's a lot of wear and tear on your phone battery. Yeah, my phone, doing I know a little Mavic Air runs down rather quickly when it's running the DJI right. Go. Because they've improved right. the battery time. I mean, these these will fly up to, what, 33 minutes? 30, 31 minutes. 31 minutes. 31 minutes. Well, and that's ideally. Uh, realistically, maybe you'll get 27, 28 minutes out of it. It depends on how you're flying it. And, and of course, how much is being pulled on the battery because yep. operating the camera the as well. Batteries are quick and easy yeah. to change. I'll show you that they're real really, quick. You just really, uh, push on the side there yeah, and pop that. it off. And the battery's got a little thing that you can push in here, and it'll tell you the, how much charge, how much charge it's got on it. And it takes Very about cool. well, maybe an hour, an hour and a half to charge a battery, depending on how low it is. So cool. Um, the, uh, let's see, there was something else. Oh, I wanted to mention on the transmitter, too, it also has a bunch of customizable buttons. There's uh, two down here in the bottom that you can customize in the app to be what you want. And then it's got kind of a joystick arrangement here that gives you basically five more. One down to select, four depending which way you turn it, and then these two. On the right side of it here is the zoom control. The zoom in and out. Left must be the camera control. And the left. Does your camera up. pan and tilt, right? Yep. Yeah, it's something else that's okay. unique to I'll this let you finish, model. But we're going, I, we want to get this out in the field, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, I wanted to just point this out, too, because this is undocumented. You're not going to see this in any of the uh, documentation. If you take the, and we're going to show this, if you take the uh, DJI Go app, and you put your finger down on it and hold it there, you'll see a little circle appear in it. And you can actually move the camera around up and down and move it around. 
the only thing to keep in mind is that you will eventually see the landing gear or the props in there. You can actually move it that far that it will see those. But it, that is kind of cool to be able to uh, move that around. The only other one that does that is the Inspire, which is one of the top uh, level drones from DAJI. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why they didn't, uh, and hopefully they don't remove that. <laughs> That's kind well, of a nice feature. You know, let's let's see what happens. Yep. So let's see what else we got here. Um, uh, of course. Talk, oh, it's got a new cat. Now, we're not going to go into the modes. You go back to the old Mavic Air if you right. want to see about the spiral and the boomerang and the asteroid. It's got all Pretty of those in it. Pretty much the same thing. But it's got a new one. Yes. It's got a dolly zoom. And uh, this actually will fly the drone backwards and try to keep the subject zooms it in the opposite direction. Now, this is not on the... Um, Mavic Pro, the Hasselblad, only on this model. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little secret here. You can do this with any, you can even do this with your unique. Well, I love the way he says that. You can even do it you with can your even, unique. You can do it any, here's how you do it. If you got 4K video, what you do is you shoot at 4K, okay? But in your video editing program, you make your project a 1080p or 1080 you then zoom into it to make sure that the subject that you want a specific size and then through the end of the video make it the same size it'll give you the exact same effect that this does inside isn't that cool very cool we'll if have you, to show that to people sometime. yeah and if you want a better explanation on it please write and let us know yep uh what happens to see the the pro model as i said had a one inch sensor Got proved video, higher ISO. Uh, it does HDR video, which and that's the Hasselblad. Version. Yeah, that's yeah. the Hasselblad version. It's two hundred fifty dollars more. I just kind of like the zoom, and I thought that would be it. Uh, right. Well, you know, to be honest, I, I and you and I talked about this a little bit. Mm -hmm. They should have made some thoughtful uh, features available for the camera. They should have made it removable. Yeah. I would have loved to have seen this. I don't know why they had two versions. It seems to me they missed a real opportunity to come out with the drone. An interchange being With an interchangeable interchange. lens where right. you could either buy both or either one of the two cameras and just mount it in place. The fact that it can be changed shows that that can be doable. I think DJA missed a real opportunity. Plus, like your Unique that we reviewed, they could have come out with an Osmo type little stand that you could mount the camera to and use right. it off the drone. Exactly. And that would have given you even right. more capability. A lot more and, to do uh, so. with the same equipment. Because let's face it, we're using more and more of this mobility to yep. get video and to get stills. Yeah, and if uh, I want especially from a vantage point that would hard to be hard to do with a regular tripod, you'd be up in a a bucket truck or uh, trying to use a crane mm -hmm. this eliminates that need yep. as long as you're flying it legally as you know in the area that you're trying to shoot or capture your your uh, footage and of course the other thing they could have done to that Hasselblad I you know I really would tend to think why not give that the zoom capability I mean that's a great well that would be the other thing if if they weren't going to do the interchangeable, interchangeable at least make the house add the zoom feature right. to the Hasselblad and you could have had uh, and know, they probably will do that eventually. A nice eventually. zoom camera or a really nice zoom camera. Well, why would you want to go out and buy two of these when you got the exact same drone and all you want is the difference is the two exactly. cameras? Exactly. Maybe really... they'll listen. And hopefully, yeah. uh, I will give DJI a lot of credit. They do listen to their users and mm. the people who are out there saying, hey, I would like this on it. I would well, like that plus, on it. Plus, uh, it's becoming a very competitive market. And they're very you innovative. Other people in there. You've got Unique in there. You've got other models that are mm. popping up. Parrot has been trying to really break into the big time. They've been a consumer model, but they're trying to break into you know but bigger time. What you tend to be seeing is they seem to be chasing DJI. A lot of them are coming out. Well, when little Mavic Air came out, a lot of them came out with what they called Mavic Air Killers, which were very, very similar foldable drones like the Mavic Air, but DJI was in the market first. Yes, so. but that's good because competition uh, breeds innovation. Yep, and also the competition is good for us because it also tends to bring prices down. Yes, makes prices very competitive. So Gives us more for less. Yes. So 
So I don't know about you, Fred, but I'm anxious to get out and do some flying. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, about five minutes ago. Yeah, well, why don't we go ahead and do that and uh, show you oh, some aerial footage from all this right. dude. All right. Well, that's all I got. If you have any questions, uh, we hope that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and leave comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, give us a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like it. That way we know. Uh, and hopefully anytime. we can do better. Yes. Hey, folks, anytime that you want to f hear about something, we have our YouTube. And, of course, you can go to the Facebook channel. Yep. And, you know, our page there and, and give us your suggestions, what you yep. want to see, what you didn't want to see, uh, what you liked about it. And, you know, I, I put this forward to Jim about, gee, are we overdoing it with drones? But that's becoming a huge emerging area oh, of yeah. photography. And it's part of, a, I mean, you can take stills, so it's 12 megapixel uh, stills, even Listen, larger with the pro Some model. of the stills that we've taken with this are, are amazing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I so. You know. And it's, it's really turning into something that can be great. Just, folks, follow the rules. Fly in the right places. Yep. Fly with consideration in mind. If there's other pilots at the same yeah, site, remember you're sharing airspace. Follow the rules. Just remember safety first. So yes, big time. With that, uh, we don't want to drone on anymore, so to speak. So let's so, fly away. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.